Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and this uh, series of videos is going to be about flight simulators. The first one is going to be the flight simulator for the Mac that I use. It's called the Aerofly RC7 and as you can see uh, by their website here uh, they have a lot of uh, very interesting things. Quadcopters, lots of places to fly, sceneries they call them. They even have full-scale, true-scale models in it, stunning model details, and again, recently updated, uh, actually last year, 2014, uh, 2015, not 2014. Uh, the last update was about December 2015. And so uh, you can buy this in the Mac store. Uh, you get the standard version for uh, $49. Uh, in the Mac store and then you can do in-app purchases for the professional or ultimate version and uh, as you can see the ultimate version has over 200 models and 50 scenarios so um, I enjoy flying this uh, flight simulator a lot and uh, I'm going to describe a lot more about it so this part of the Aerofly website um, flight simulator for the Mac will Give you an overview of many of the features as you can see uh, in the ultimate version it has over 200 models and uh, over 50 scenarios um, all model all models instantly scalable support for many different input devices and um, you, you do need a usb port in the end to plug into your uh, mac but there's a lot of ways to get there um, and a lot of um, support for um, transmitters. Um, you can um, uh, fly the quadcopters. There's a cock, cop, multi -cop, multi copter cockpit camera and um, auto balance for multi copters. You can always keep one eye on the ground when you need, which is handy. I like to actually have the ground always in view when I fly. Um, ultra realistic glare if you want from the sun you can actually turn that off. A flight path indicator if you want. Uh, aero box, aer aerobatic box flying so you can uh, practice your um, pattern flying. Air races and uh, two-player mode. Uh, tarp trainer with model alignment. Uh, flying limbo is lots of fun. I do that a lot. Um, I'm not a big helicopter fan, but uh, hover flight trainer is is handy. Balloon popping, a little uh, and a landing game. See if you can land on a spot and play and record uh, recording center and position indicator of where you are above the ground. Uh, an orientation grid. The transmitter setup is quite easy. Um, the flight instruments are, are available, uh, adjustable flight conditions, uh, meaning the winds and the weather and so forth, and two and four mode uh, control modes. So um, uh, those are some of the various features. And uh, the next thing I want to do is show you a comparison between the three um, uh, uh, versions of this so you can see there uh, all of the uh, uh, quantity of, of uh, airplanes uh, and scenarios and the types I'll, I'll scroll through a quick list uh, of all of the uh, models and I haven't tried them all yet but because there are a lot of them you can see there's a lot of sailplanes and helis and airplanes and jets. Um, there's both electric and uh, nitro powered as well as jet uh, airplanes. Uh, UMX Beast is a fun thing to fly. Um, the uh, E-Flight UMX Beast there. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, the uh, Funjet. The Funjet is a uh, airplane that uh, you can hand launch, and it's quite handy. I'll show you that eventually. Um, let me 
Let's see, the Micro Trojan is a good trainer airplane. The uh, Piper J3 Cub is a tiny little airplane, uh, micro airplane. And uh, the Slow Fun, I like to fly that, just slow and easy. The Space Walker, again, is a very nice uh, airplane to fly. T-Rex, uh, various helis there. And uh, lots of very small and very large aircraft. And as far as the scenarios here, you can see that the scenarios are um, uh, all over the world, many in the U.S., many in Germany, uh, but not limited to the U.S. and Germany's. And the Triple Tree in South Carolina, the home of the Joe Nall, is one of the... Um, um, uh, scenarios that you can fly at and, and actually there's two um, um, uh, aircraft carriers in those so it's a fun uh, um, flight simulator to, to play with and use and especially if you're just a beginning pilot uh, it's a great training tool for uh, beginner pilots as well as a fun tool for experienced pilots so Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos about the Aerofly uh, Flight Simulator RC7 and I will demonstrate um, uh, many of the trainer and other aircraft uh, in this uh, flight simulator. Stay tuned. Thank you.